How did you process everything being in Canton again? Dan, it was, it was a, I've been having a hard time explaining what the, the week was like in Canton because at the hotel I was staying at, there was just a bunch of goats with gold jackets down in the lobby, grazing, talking to one another. <laughs> and it's just like, I, you got to take your phone out and, and just take videos. But 31 years ago, I was there as a 12 year old and my sister was, was eight and I was inducting my father into the pro football hall of fame. And we go back, uh, this is actually my third time back. I went back when Erlacher went in to cover it for WGN TV. And then I go back this time with my kids, my son's 12 and my daughter's oh, eight. Wow. So yeah, it's just, my mom was there for the first time since, you know, 93. And I mean, the reason why I was there was emotional. Steve Mongo McMichael has become like a, a father to me over the years. And the fact that I got a chance, you know, his battle with ALS, that he came to me and said, listen, I want you to do this for me, um, speaks volumes to our friendship and also to just uh, the person that he is. And I, I was honored. And I know that there's just not a lot of people, Dan, that have done this twice. I think Papa Bear Palace did it twice. I think um, I know Al Davis did it twice uh, to be in that rarefied air of uh, doing two induction speeches is is pretty cool. And also being the first son to induct his father. So there's a lot of history there for me. But it, the cool part was seeing Mongo get in and then also being around all the other goats and hearing them talk to me about my dad. And then also hearing like Tony Dungy and Tony Baselli talking to my son saying, you know what? Your grandpa <laughs> was, the, I was out on the field to watch him. And then Tony Baselli, I said, man, I just want to, I wish he was here. And Tony goes, no, we wish he was here. Like, you don't understand. We wish that he was around so we could sit and just watch him and talk to him. And it, it showed me the respect level that my dad had in the NFL and also amongst the greats. And you were with Devin Hester in Miami. Weren't you part of oh, your college career? Yeah, I was with Devin, and I was also roommates with Andre Johnson. Uh, Andre <laughs> and I came in the same year in in '99, so it was this. It, this is how I know I'm getting old. It's not only about putting getting Steve into the Hall of Fame, but my old teammates are now going into the <laughs> Hall of Fame, and so uh, to see those guys with their gold jackets and know that I was a part of their journey. Man, it just, there was all the feels in Canton over the week. It was pretty cool.